Hello everyone and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So, did you guys notice anything different? I'm sure you did. But, um, the game's actually black and white now. How did I do this? I'm more than happy to tell you guys. So, there's actually a secret little side quest that you could actually do in GTA 5. This is only for PS4 and Xbox One, however, these are the only consoles it was ever put on. So PC will not have this, probably not, I don't think so. According to most sources I've read, this little thing is not available on PC. So if you're a console player like me, then you are one of the lucky ones who got this really cool little side quest you could do. Um, so first things first, so First off, you need Michael in order to do it. You cannot use anyone else. You cannot do use Franklin or Trevor. You have to use Michael. And it's actually kind of a cool little side mission you can do. And it actually unlocks this filter and there's also a more uh, uh, Sophia one. Sephora. I don't know how you say it actually. But the tanny look to the um, game. So yeah. So what I'm actually going to do is revert it back, so we have full blown color. As you guys can see, I was calling a Zayek, and I will show you why I do that, and that is how you change filters automatically. But, yeah. So first things first, so for this mission, you need Michael, like I said, and you only unlock him after, and this mission, side mission thing, is only available after you do repossession, which is the third mission in a game in story mode. So, yeah. So keep that in mind. So what we need to do right now is find four clues. <clears throat> and the first one is actually here at the Gen Tree Manor Hotel. So, let us... I can show you exactly where it is, but... What these are, they're secret little messages that are etched into the wall you have to find. So once, you want the side entrance of this motel, but, or hotel I mean. Once you're in here, you'll want to check on the, this, this building right here. You want to check on this one. And there will be a cryptid message right here. As you guys can see, it's etched into the wall. <coughs> So here it is right here. So it's old Fred at dice, but it ain't but it ain't so is what it says. So Um you'll have a little indicator sound once you find that. Of course I did this already, so I won't have it, but So there is the first message. So there's one down. We need three more. So the second message is actually at City Hall. And if you guys are wondering where the hotel is, it's right here. <clears throat> and we want City Hall, which actually I can get there more better without the help of them, so. The tour is apparently going off. <laughs> Good for the tour. That is not the button I wanted. We're gonna turn that off, just so I'm not talking really loud in your guys' ear. <laughs> Holy hell. But Town Hall is actually a little... it's not very hard to find. A lot of people assume the one in the center of Santos is Town Hall, but it's not, so... This building is Town Hall. We're just gonna casually park here. And it's woo, one zero to the blonde girl. Okay. And now the second message is actually on the opposite side of the place. So it's actually over here. I will take you Are there you quickly. Retarded. Well, I actually pre-recorded this video already, I just it took way too long for one part of this, so I decided to re-record it again. So this is that re-recorded part. And the second message is actually right here. And it says, Fred makes video cartoons for kids. Funny theme, considering what he did. 
is what this one says. But this is where it's located. And here it is on the map. So it's on the other side of this big giant building block right here. So it's pretty much on the other side of where the construction site is, is pretty much what I would go by. I go by landmarks pretty much when I'm in here. That's probably what you guys should do too. So yeah, there is our second clue. Our third clue is actually at the Oriental Theater, which is a easy a very easy to find spot. So if you guys played through story mode, we should chill some time. Um, during it's meltdown, totally this is the theater your premiere is at. So let's try not to run over any pets today. <laughs> Unless they're being idiots. <laughs> so you will want to go to the main drag for this next clue. Whoa, okay, dude. <laughs> Bus driver's being here. It's fine. <clears throat> so the main drag by... I you mean got by, lucky, buddy! <laughs> Vinewood Boulevard, I believe is what it's called. Or is it just how it's downtown Vinewood? It has a street name. Vinewood Boulevard. Yep, that was correct. So... So, I can't park very good, but... So obviously this is the Oriental Theater that I'm talking about. This is pretty much this is the theater that the Chinese theater is based on. So we're actually gonna pull out our gun, but let's not point it at anyone. And it's actually hidden away over here in the corner behind these pine uh, next to this pine palm. <laughs> so it says, "Ain't no mystery. They drowned her because of what she knew." So that right there is pretty cryptic. It's telling us that um, this person drowned this lady for no apparent reason, but he, for some reason that we won't know. I'm just saying, I don't wanna get shot, man. Get of us. Until probably after this next part. So the next one is actually at the observatory. But first, let me show you where it generally is, where we are on the map. So it's over here in the corner, pretty much, is where it is. And the next one is at the observatory, which is this square area up here. So we will head over there. Sorry, people, apologize. Try not to kill anyone today. <laughs> Like I was saying guys, this is only for PS4 and Xbox oh, One people. Fuck's sake. Um if you're on PC you probably do not have this little quest. I think once they um uh ported the GTA 5 over to the current consoles, it actually they actually wanted to add some bonus things to it, so this was one of them. Sorry guys, it's gonna be a lot driving, which is totally fine, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way guys, I am so happy that you guys enjoyed story mode when I streamed it. I am so glad you did because it freaking story mode. Most people play online, but story mode is totally worth it and people need to check it out more. So if it's nice tomorrow I may go jogging. You gotta work on my body. Can't be all brain. Keep that in mind, guys. And tell everyone oh, that I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. 
So this one actually is a little more trickier to find. You kind of have to go on the um, very bottom area of I see the... You at the spot, big homie. Of the place, so... Uh, I'm trying to remember where it was. <laughs> I'm going blank, which is not good. Is it? I don't think it was this stairs. I think hey. it was the next stairs down. Hi. Peace, dude. Uh, what's up, dude? Hi. Oh shoot! Where was this one at? <laughs> Hang on, guys. Let me recap myself. <laughs> Oops. I am going too far. Helen, is that you? Oh no, we're in the right area. Okay, I'm crazy. Apparently I'm crazy because we're in the right area. I totally just went past it, but here it is. So David Richard Nose is the fourth one. So like I said guys, you'll get an indicator sound when you find these things. All you have to do is pretty much look at it and make sure to go in first person just to be safe. And now comes the more tricky part. So, are you a sex That's offender or something? Out. So, at Hello, this sir. point, you need. <clears throat> sorry, we guys, I know I'm ah, freaking you all out. I'm sorry. <laughs> So at this point, guys, you need the second part. This next part is a little tricky. Uh, I do suggest you grab either the sub, you grab the submarine or scuba gear. I usually just grab the submarine just because it's easier to. So if you bought the sonar collection dock, there is a submarine there always. And I do suggest grabbing the sub or the scuba gear. I usually just take the sub and then the scuba gear and then call it good, so. So yeah guys, so that is what you're looking for and she is located right about here. So a little offshore pretty much, but it's in the deeper part of it. And it's from the fort, so that's where you want to find the drowned lady. It's a little hard to find in the dark, just so you know, so don't do it in the dark. Because <laughs> that is what I got stuck doing, because it got dark on me, so... We're actually gonna head to the surface. I have a couple sharks after me already, so. <laughs> I think we need to get out of the water, guys. So that is the second to last part. And we just need to get to land at this point, so I am just swimming for my life. I know at one point the shark is gonna spawn again and I'm gonna be in trouble, so. just like flew off. <laughs> Michael's like, I want that off now. <laughs> Alright, so the next part we actually have to go back to Los Santos, so I'm actually gonna call cab because I was dumb and I didn't bring my car out here, so. <laughs> and we need to head to the movie studio is where our next location is. And we actually need to pay a visit to Solomon, so. So just a tip about this, you can only uh, go into Solomon's office once you friend him. So you gotta make sure to do all his missions by the time you do- Can you get a cab here as soon as possible? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Thanks. By the time you do this mission, as I was saying, you'll want to be good friends with Solomon. So you want to do make sure to do all his missions by this time. And another thing to note, you can only go into his office after 9 p.m. You cannot go after 
into his office earlier than that. So we're actually just gonna head home at this point. Where can I take you? Cause we need to sleep it off again, so Rockford Hills. Come on, buddy, let's go. So we're actually gonna skip the ride <laughs> and go back home. We might be able to get in sneak in there. Um, by the time we get there, but it will probably be morning by then, so. <laughs> this is the spot, right? So we're actually gonna go inside and sleep it off, actually, for a few minutes. But that will make it I've been telling chicks that hybrids aren't carbon neutral enough. Daddy's back, bitches! Jimmy was talking over me, how rude. <laughs> oh, Amanda's on the bed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna sleep with Amanda today. <laughs> so we're gonna quickly hop in bed and save the game. This is actually the fastest way to um, go through time, guys, if you were wondering. And each character sleeps a certain amount of hours, so. I'm guessing it's way in the morning. Yep, it's 11.30 in the morning. So we're gonna hop back into bed. <laughs> we want after 9 p.m. So pretty much once it's starting to get dark pretty much is when we want to... What time is it now? It is 17. I believe 20 is... Amanda's still in bed? Whoa, 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 was she asleep? Oh, but Amanda's been in bed the whole time we have been, okay. <laughs> okay, it's 17, so it's almost 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is 20 on an army clock, so... You might as well chillax for a bit, hang out. The sun is starting to go down. So yeah guys, I know this is kind of unusual for me and it's kind of random, but I figured I would do this for you guys just because I am one of those lucky console players, so... And this is a console only little thing. want to see more videos like this one, please let me know by leaving a like on this video or any of my other GTA videos that I've ever done. <laughs> I'll probably put a couple cards on this video that will point out a couple of those videos. like their AI if they would jump out of a helicopter for example I did that video a very long time ago that was probably like a year or two ago but and I also did a little recap on how chop works and what you can do with chop and everything <clears throat> and I also showed a, a couple cool spots and creepy spots also So we're just going to casually pull in here and park. I don't think it's going to let us in, but we can try. Because I'm pretty sure it's going to say, is busy, come back later. Okay. So I'm assuming we have to come back like after hours. I think that's why they put a limit on this thing. Just because it's kind of after hours. So right now hey it man. is 8 o'clock, so... We only got a little bit of time to waste. <laughs> but I honestly did not pick this outfit for my cookie did, so... <laughs> I do like his shirt. It's a homage to... 
an homage, excuse me, to Max Payne, if you guys ever played that game. I believe it was the last one they did, which was the third one. Oh, ouch. You can actually make Michael bald and put this shirt on him and he would look legit. <laughs> so. Yeah, so guys, let me know if you guys want me to do more themes like this in story mode. If you guys want me to mess more with my, with the other friends, with friend AI, like, Chira, like Chop and Franklin, Trevor, Michael, you know. Out of the three guys. I'm always trying to look for things I could do for you guys in here, and just because I love... I love this game, and I really don't want to leave it until I absolutely need to, so... Okay, it is almost 9 o'clock, guys, so we will wait a few more minutes. I'm glad time goes by fast in here, because it, no, hey, it would suck if time went, like, as slow hey, as it does in real life. <laughs> Actually, honestly. <clears throat> and... It is now 9 o'clock. Alright. So we'll wait a few more seconds before we hop in there. Alright, we can go in now. Almost, maybe. Let me in! <laughs> this is annoying. I've waited long enough. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should wait until 10. It's kind of weird to get dark. It starts to get dark around here at like 9 o'clock. It seems like Los Santos is always in summertime then. Oh, it's not letting me in still. Lame. Unless this is 8 o'clock. Is this 8 o'clock or is it 9 o'clock? Pretty sure 20 is 9 o'clock, but... Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, 21 is 9 o'clock. Okay, so I've been wrong. <laughs> I apologize, guys. Army time is not my thing. I like regular time. <laughs> the only times that are actually time time in here is midnight and morning hours, pretty much, so. So yes, guys, it's almost time. Almost. And fun fact, only <coughs> Michael and Trevor's phone has army time on it. Franklin's does not, so there's a good fun fact for you guys. <coughs> and, okay, we're good. So let's try it now. Alright, it's letting us in. Cool. And this is pretty much the only time you can go into Solomon's office without the mission or anything. So you guys can actually look around his little office if you want to. Which is kind of cool. It's like the only open interior we actually have, it seems like, besides their safe houses. But <clears throat> Anyways, the next clue is sitting here on the desk. As you guys can see, it comes up with a prompt. Read the letter. And this is the letter. Um, I will wait a few seconds. If you guys want to read it, feel free to pause it. But I'm pretty sure it's talking about, um... Isaiah. Can, that lady and everything is pretty much what it's talking about. And there's this man ca called Isaiah. And, yeah. <clears throat> so feel free to pause if you guys need to read it. I'm not gonna read it for you, but... <laughs> So we're gonna exit now, and our next place we need to go is actually the abandoned mine, which most people know about. And I believe that is it right there. Let me double check. Or no, it's not there. It's actually... Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's right here. I actually have it on my map as a point of interest. So the mine is right here. So we are gonna quickly drive up there. Uh, this next part, we are gonna actually go inside the mine and we need to find Isaiah. Which, who is actually a dead body on the floor, so. I'm sure most of you know where this actually is because this game has been out for almost six years now. It will be six years this September, which is crazy. And it's still insane that this game is still played in every game. And there's people just barely hopping in this game too. It's like, wow, guys, really? <laughs> I mean, this game is amazing. It's broken a ton of records. And it's just super fun, so I'm so glad I got into playing GTA with this game. I have no regrets of it at all. So. <laughs> and I actually have started to play San Andreas, and I started playing the third one, but <laughs> the controls are so wonky in that one, I can't do it. I can't play it for very long because the freaking guns are horrible. No way, no way. Oh, no. Excuse me, guys. Whoa. I wish it wouldn't do that because it freaks me out. <laughs> it's a bad place to have a race, guys. <laughs> so we have to go down this dirt little train. And around the next bend it will be. Alright, so here it is, right here. So you literally just need a big gun, pretty much, or an explosive for this, so... I have my rail gun? I got you rail gun, where is it? This rail gun's not showing up, okay. Interesting. I got him a rail gun, I don't know where it went. Alright, well whatever. RPG. But you can literally open it with RPG. I think story mode is the only... the only, um, mode you can come into. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that. Wanted to turn my flashlight on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, so we're inside the mine. It's pretty creepy in here. I probably should have put this in my creepy video. I didn't realize I could go in here still in story mode. So I might have to update my list now, but it's pretty damn creepy in here. But you will want to go all the way pretty much down until you see that right there. That is Isaac right there. And he's just a dead body on the ground as you guys can see. We're gonna go first so you guys can see a good shot of him. But here he is. And you pretty much just want to approach him. And as you guys can see the prompt comes up to cycle vintage filters. So we have black and white, or a dusty kind of one, and then we have black and white. There we go. 
And then that's it. That's how you get the filters. And you can activate the filters at any time by calling him. He actually automatically gets added to your phone after you find him. Here he is right here. You just call him. Obviously he won't answer, but then the filter changes, so... So yeah, guys. So, there you go, guys. That is how you get those filters, if you guys are wondering. I don't know if you can play completely in these filters. Maybe we should test that. Maybe that's what we should test, guys. We should test if we can stay in these filters the whole time. So, anyways, guys, thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this little secret edition video thing. Now, if you guys are like me and you like collectibles, and you like GTA, this is probably something you could totally do for yourself. And yeah, so let me know if you want some more story mode game things like this, guys. And I will talk to y'all later.